Welcome to part two of naming alkynes. How would we name this structure? So as you can see, we have a triple bond, which would be an alkyne, but we also have a double bond, which would be an alkene. So how do we go about naming this? When it comes to counting the carbons, we want to prioritize the alkene or the double bond. So as opposed to counting like this, where we prioritize the triple bond, we're going to count like this to try to prioritize the double bond. And I think, yeah. As you can see, we have six carbons, which would be associated with hexene, but we're going to put, because we have a double bond, we're going to put hexene. We know the double bond is on carbon one, so we're going to put one hexene. And then a dash, the triple bond is on carbon five. So a five and then a Y and E, which is the suffix for a triple bond. How do we draw this structure? So if we want to count the longest chain, we would start on this right side and go toward the left. And when we start from the right side, we also give the alcohol the lowest group, number group. And even if we started from here and went to the, to the right, we would still have the same number of carbons across the triple bond. Since we have six carbons, this is going to be called hex sine. And it's across three and four, but we're going to pick the lower number, three. So three hexane. And the hydroxy group is on carbon number two, which would be two O. So three hexane, two O. How do we count the longest chain in this situation? If you want to go like this and count the longest chain, you didn't do the right thing because the longest chain has to consist of the triple bond. But you can see here our longest chain that we've counted doesn't have the triple bond. So you'd want to go up like that. However, you want to start counting from the triple bond down not toward the triple bond as to give the triple bond carbons the lowest carbon number possible. So this is how you're going to count it. And then this whole thing would be a substituent. So let's start naming this. We have seven carbons which is associated with hep tine right and it's across the triple bond is across carbons one and two we're going to go with the lower one which is one half time now on carbon number three we have a group called a propyl because this substituent has one two three carbons so it's going to be called a propyl and it's on position three so three propyl 